welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do a video based on quarantine, self-help, trying to be sane, um, things that you can do um, for inner peace. You know, you don't have to be a girl to wear face masks, by the way. My kids have the best skin because we, I do a lot of face care with them, especially my teenager, his acne. Lord Jesus, I didn't have that bad acne when I was a kid. But I constantly always took care of my face. But moving along, um, I did want to show you guys some of my stuff. I do adult coloring. Now, um, I normally have generalized anxiety disorder. Um, I get clinically depressed. Um, ever since, I gotta say, I've always had this, but not as bad ever since I was diagnosed with autoimmune because I'm not kidding. I mean, I have scleroderma, sarcoidosis, lupus, small fiber neuropathy, Raynaud. It's like the list goes friggin' on. You don't just get one autoimmune, by the way. And y'all that with autoimmune all know what I'm talking about. But autoimmune or not, taking care of and distracting your mind. We all know that we're stuck at home and there's not a whole lot we can do. Um, first, I would like to say stay the frick off of the news. Um, I notice that when I watch the news, I get more anxiety. I have family in Long Island in New York City. And I don't fear for myself and where I am because I know if I stay home, I'm good. Um, but a lot of my family and friends are in Long Island. And they are the worst in the entire country right now. And other countries, they are the worst worldwide right now for coronavirus. And that freaks me out because I worry about them all the time. So I can't watch the news because I panic and I freak out. But I did want to show you guys um, some of my adult coloring things. Now, people think adulting, uh, you know, coloring is for kids. It is freaking not for kids. First off, we have way better coloring books than kids. Um, all that's my art supplies. I got addicted, <laughs> and I got a lot of coloring pencils. Um, Artist Loft, if you want to give it a shot, they're cheap. They are not expensive, and they have the best smoothness in color pencil world. Um, it's amazing. Artist Loft. Get it try it. But I'm going to show you some stuff. Now I can't flip my camera around because apparently it doesn't let me. I don't know why. But this is one I did. I absolutely adore the beach. Um, I grew up in Long Island so I'm a lifeguard. And um, I just love the beach. So I mean you can see the back details of the fishing boat. The sign. Like I go into detail with rocks and dirt and 3D and stuff. I mean, let's be real. It doesn't look great in video. It doesn't. Um, this one's one of my favorites, too. Yes, I did the ice cubes and lemons and all that by myself. First of all, I'm not artistic. Don't look at this and think I have art skills. I can't even draw a stick person, but I can color. Um, <laughs> I used to not be able to color, but a lot of practice. See, I was very anxious. And a few of my friends were like, Heather, just do adult coloring. I'm like, what the fuck is adult coloring? <laughs> like, what is that? Is it like hardcore, provocative? Like, what is it? Um, and then I saw, it's not this basic coloring stuff. It gives you detail where it distracts your mind. You need more mental e effort to focus on, you know, coloring the picture. Then your mind can't do two things at once as far as thinking. So if you're mainly focusing on coloring this picture and how to do detail and how to blend and do all this, what scares you the most is now out of your brain. And that's why I did it. Um, it does help with my depression a great deal. I do love it more than you know. See, the only reason why I tell people to try adult coloring, and I know, freaking dude, I'm going to show you these couple pictures, but I know some men, whoo, Lord Jesus, I don't know who taught them to color. The one guy told me he's been doing it since he was in high school. And I was like, I wish I did. But, um, yeah, I don't. But he was insane. Now, he's the one that told me about extreme coloring. Amazing book, by the way. I have many extreme coloring ones. But I want to show you this. I've got to say, these way better pictures. But that's this. You can't really see it that well because I can't really focus. And my hand shakes, so I'm sorry if things are shaking. Um, I have a nerve disorder and bad arthritis, so holding things actually hurt. If you saw this in person, yo, this picture is so pretty. Um, 
If you guys don't want to watch the video, you don't have to. <laughs> I'm just doing it. Say, hey, if you want something to do, you're bored, you want to try something new, you want to get into something new, try adult coloring. But yes, I will be talking about other things besides adult coloring. I'm just showing you guys the cool things part to it. It is not childish in any way. It is very little. This is extreme, which means very much detailed. And it is friggin' awesome. And the other side, I have not finished yet. Sometimes I just don't get in the mood to color. But I did one side fire, one side cold as ice. Still working on it. Um, but that's as far as one of the things I do to keep my mind kind of at peace. Um, you know, it's not just about I'm stuck at home. I can't see any of my autoimmune doctors. I'm on coast. Now, a few months before this happened, cell sep that I was on um, caused a massive infection. And I almost died from sepsis. I was on clindamycin for months, which causes C. diff, um, which I did Activia twice a day, which saved my freaking life, by the way. It's a great probiotic yogurt. Tastes way better than you'll play, by the way. Um, you can do it in smoothie or yogurt, in case you're interested. It actually has natural probiotics inside of it um, that is naturally found in your gut, which is why it works so well. Um, but between the anxiety of having to be a teacher, people are like, oh, now you know what teachers go through. But teachers don't have to teach eight subjects for one student. They get to have one subject, like they just teach English all day or social studies each day. I have to learn fourth grade and eighth grade, math, science, social studies, English. I have to learn Spanish. I have to do their gym education um, requirements, their health requirements, like there's so much involved with schooling and it's stressing me out because you have to be part of Zoom meetings to get credit. Zoom meetings sometimes are mad early or involve my doctor's appointments. There's many times I couldn't even talk to my doctors because if I didn't get my kid to watch a Zoom meeting, then he would not get a good grade. And you're risking now my health because of a Zoom meeting you're doing once a week or whatever. Not easy to get a hold of a doctor, especially in an epidemic like this. But... Um, I'm lucky that my primary is so good. Right now she's actually running, um, the coronavirus tent that you drive up to and you get swabbed and you checked, um, right down my block. So she's in charge of it. So really she's not even seeing patients right now, but given she's the only one that's been with me since day one with my autoimmune, I can't just see the next doctor on hands because they're going to be like scleroderma. Okay. What is that? Let me Google. Like, really, really? You don't take care of your patient by Googling, by the way freaking people. Um, yeah, you look up Google for a headache and you're dying from a fucking brain tumor. So don't Google shit. Best thing I always say is if you think you have a problem, talk to somebody, you know, or your doctor, don't Google shit. But trying to get your mind to focus on something else is the best advice I can give you. And I'm not playing. Um, I do yoga. Um, Probably won't be able to show you yoga today, but maybe I will. If anybody cares and comments and they want me to do a small little taste of it, I can show you. It basically is light stretching. People are like, oh, I don't bend myself into a pretzel. You're not. When you first start out, it's all light stretching. And many through years, you become flexible. It takes time. It doesn't just happen. But my yoga mat in its little case and my yoga block. Um, actually, the reason why I did yoga is because my health was declining pretty bad and I kept dying, almost dying, like every few months, and my doctors didn't know how to help me anymore, and they said, Heather, you know, because I was getting depressed, when you find out you have a deadly disease that can kill you, because I have diffuse scleroderma, which is rapid onset, and I don't know how many surgeries I've had so far, like, it's past 20-something, and I mean, that ranges from vascular to GI surgeries, and it, it turns your body to stone, I mean, you're pretty much shit out of luck. But he was like, Heather, you know, your anxiety is making your health worse. You're actually feeding your autoimmune. You're getting it pissed off, and it's making you sicker. You need to find something to help you. He's like, do yoga. And I was pissed because I was like, is he just not taking me seriously? Like, I thought it was like a freaking joke. Like, you think a light exercise is going to help me out right now. Um, it does. If anybody does want to try it, try out with chair yoga first. Ease into it. Um, but I like the meditation part. Holy crap. Every time I get a panic attack, the problem is, is I have heart issues. And if I take Ativan, last time I took it, um, I was so dizzy and so nauseous. My blood pressure dropped dramatically. And that was 0.5, by the way. 
milligrams. I actually stopped it by myself. And um, meditation has helped me a lot when I'm in a panic attack and I freak the fuck out. But what I've been doing is trying to do self-care. Um, self-care is doing something that feeds your soul. Not just, you know, you looking good or it's whatever makes you happy. If, you know, you're a girl and you like doing your nails. And first of all, I don't like doing my hair. My hair is this kinky, curly, froey, puffy hair. Yeah, nothing I could do with it. If you got straight, nice hair, enjoy it. Because my hair sucks. It froze. But what I've been doing is these gel masks, um, Neutrogena Hydro Boost. You keep it on for 20 minutes, which I keep falling asleep with it. But it's like a badass freaking moisturizer. And it's got um, hyaluronic acid in it. So it's known to smoothen and, and make your pores smaller. It is not a collagen. It will not mess up your skin like for people with scleroderma because we have overproduction of collagen. It is not a collagen product. I would not mix collagen with overproduction of collagen. So they even make these that I use. The Hydro Boost uh, Leave It On Your Face Gel Mask. It would be great if it zoomed in, but I guess apparently not today. <laughs> I also do the lip masks. I love lavender. I'm not a huge essential oil person. I'm not like, oh, you know, it's going to fix and heal my body. Uh, no. If they actually healed your body with autoimmune and, you know, cured diseases and cancers, um, we wouldn't have a problem with people dying. So, anyway, I use Wet n Wild's, just actually saw this, if you guys saw one of my other videos, is a sleeping lip mask. It smells like pure lavender. I love it, but when I wake up in the morning, because it's scleroderma, my lips are shrinking, but my lips have like dark spots on it because of scleroderma and they're really dry. This, first day I freaking used it, I woke up, my lips were like butter. I was like, oh my God, I need to get this shit all the time. I just made a mess, but I need to get this shit more often. Um, so my best advice is find what makes you happy. You guys can always email me. Don't be afraid to. I mean, you don't see it in the comments or anything. People do hide their comments or they just email me. My email is byrnes1223 at gmail.com. I will put it in the description below. Don't hesitate to message me. You need somebody just to talk to because you're stressed out. You want to talk about dentures. You want, you know, talk about any autoimmune, really, because I got a crap load. Um, you just need a friend. Just message me, guys. Um, I'd rather be there and help people because I... You know, going through a time like this, especially because I'm an extrovert, um, being trapped inside, you get more stress and depression and anxiety. And I've had people message me that are so deeply freaking depressed and they feel trapped and they feel alone. And, you know, if they feel like their family hates them now because they're stuck with them all the time, I feel bad because, I mean, I'm not going to lie, my kids drive me freaking nuts but my kids aren't even bothered by this, by the way, which is pretty funny. Like, they don't even care. They're like, okay. But, I mean, we did gardening today. Always try to find something to distract your mind. If you're depressed and you feel so tired and now you can't sleep because I'm having a problem with insomnia. So, if you email me at, like, 1 in the morning, I'm up. Um, but I've noticed I'm starting to get depressed. That's why I made this video. Because I know whoever is watching this could be going through the same thing. And you're not alone. This situation sucks for everyone. I mean, I'd rather be stuck at home than end up with the coronavirus and not have a lockdown. So, I mean, you got to pick and choose your battles. I choose life. But depression and mental health is important just as much as your physical health. So find something that you love. Try something new. Distract your mind. Talk to somebody. You can talk to me at any given time. You guys want me to do videos? You want me to do live feeds on something? Comment below. Just comment below. Say, Heather, I want you to do a live feed. And I will do a live feed. We can pick times. You can tell me what time is good for you. Just let me know. I am always, always here. Um, I do do homework with my kids, and I do have a lot of conference calls. But we will all figure it out. We will do a live feed. We will sit down and talk about whatever topics you want. Um, somebody else mentioned this to before, but um, I just want to see if anybody else would be willing to join me in a live you know, video feed. Just right here on YouTube, live it out. Talk about anything, anything you want. I don't care, anything. You want to just talk about the weather? We can do that. The weather sucks in upstate New York right now. <laughs> it's cold, warm, cold, warm, windy, warm, cold, snow, rain, kind of all freaking all over.
but I don't want to make this video any longer and get you guys bored off your ass. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. God bless. Stay safe. Please message me if you need someone. Bye all.